and welcome to another edition of AppSec Decoded. I'm Taylor Armerding, security advocate for the Synopsys Software Integrity Group. And as you can probably see and hear, uh, the excitement and the exuberant chaos is beginning to build in the South Exhibit Hall of the Moscone Center where RSA 2022 has launched. So we're happy to be coming to you from that. And today we're going to talk about what else? Decoding AppSec. And uh, specifically, we're going to talk about the Synopsys Cybersecurity Research Center, which of course has its own acronym, CIRC, C-Y-R-C, Synopsys CIRC. And one of the major players on that team is Jonathan Knudsen, head of global research for Synopsys CERC. Jonathan, thanks for taking the time to be here. Thanks, Taylor. Welcome to the exhibit hall. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, so starting off with the basics, what is CERC and what is its purpose? Uh, so CERC, we kicked it off in 2019, and uh, the idea was not so much that we were starting something, but that we were formalizing things that we were already doing. So, uh, for example, uh, we have a research, uh, a development team yep. in Ulu, Finland, mm -hmm. and uh, as they're working on the DefenseX tool, they mm -hmm. test it on open source projects, yep. and they find bugs, mm -hmm. and they report them uh, responsibly, coordinated disclosure. Um, likewise, we have uh, sales engineers and other security engineers who uh, just sort of trip over bugs uh, as they're doing their day-to-day yeah. -day jobs. Sure. Uh, and so uh, we kicked off CERC in 2019 as a way of sort of formalizing that and um, making it easier for Synopsys to disclose vulnerabilities uh, mm -hmm. to improve the ecosystem overall. Right. Well, one of, one of the most famous uh, CERC projects is the OSRA, O-S-S-R-A. We're full of acronyms here. That's the Open Source Software and Risk Analysis report. It's an annual report that's now in its seventh iteration? Something like that. Seventh yeah. or eighth iteration. So tell us a little bit about that, its origins, its purpose, and what kinds of information it provides. Uh, so as you know, uh, Synopsys has a lot of different security businesses and products. Uh, and so one of the business lines that we do is audits of open source software uh, for uh, acquisitions, mergers and acquisitions. And uh, as part of that activity, we gather quite a large amount of data, uh, anonymized, of course, uh, and so it's that data pool that we're pulling from to make the OSRA. Uh, so it's a, it's a nice snapshot into uh, how people are using open source, how much they're using, uh, how up-to-date they're keeping everything, uh, and, and so on. And how, how much they're using is a lot, right? I mean, the OSRA has basically shown what most people know anecdotally, which is that, what, 98% or 99% of every project, software project, has some open source components, and what is it, almost 80% is open source. Right, uh, so if you look at the numbers year over year, it's, yeah. it's sort of this curve that's approaching one. Uh, so it, it, it's a lot, yeah. You're using it if you're using software, absolutely. Yes. What are some other CERC projects? So recently uh, we had one of our consultants, uh, mm -hmm. one of our researchers, David Johansson, who yes. published some vulnerabilities in Strapi, which is a content management system. Okay. And then shortly before that, he had uh, published some vulnerabilities in Directus, which is another uh -huh. content management system. Right. And like I was saying earlier, uh, these are things that he, he just sort of stumbled over. So sure. uh, sure. he was evaluating content management systems okay. for an uh, internal use. Mm -hmm. and as part of that came across these vulnerabilities and okay. we put them through the process to coordinate with the open source teams yes. and, and do a responsible disclosure. Tell me a little bit more about the vulnerability disclosure program. Uh, so the idea, uh, uh, many companies have this, but the idea is that um, if we find a vulnerability in some open source uh, project, uh, we, you don't just publish it right away. So there's a coordinated process uh, that we follow. Responsible disclosure? Responsible or coordinated, <laughs> yes. yep. Where um, we'll get in touch with the project maintainers, we'll tell them about it, um, give them some time, typically 90 days, uh, okay. that they can address it yep. and release a new version that fixes it, and then, uh, and then we do the disclosure. Then you go public and it's ready. Right. Uh, so it's, it's really, uh, it's really nice for us. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a win-win-win. So yes. the one win is uh, we're helping to improve the quality of open source projects. 
Uh, the second win is it makes synopsis look good because we're doing interesting research. And the third win is uh, it makes the individual look good as well. What have you done lately? As, as, as head of global research. <laughs> uh, so we're sort of, as I mentioned, we started at CERC in 2019. We're, yeah. we're sort of refocusing our attention on it. Uh, and so what I'm doing is, uh, is uh, sort of rallying the troops and, and trying to make sure that everybody who wants to participate is able to participate, uh, okay. letting them know that the program is there and that it's there to help them uh, and helping them succeed. We're going to leave it there. Uh, we have been talking with Jonathan Knudsen of Synopsis CERC, the Cybersecurity Research Center. We are at uh, the Moscone Center here at RSA 2022-2022. And uh, thank you for joining us. I'm Taylor Armerding with the Synopsis Software Integrity Group. We help organizations build trust into their software.